Welcome. I'm here in my Dodge Durango trying to set up um, the new Google Chromecast with Google TV. Uh, my my car has the HDMI option uh, and two screens in the second row. So I was able to connect it. So let me just go through the settings and a quick walkthrough uh, how to make this work. Um, and again, it's important that you know that you, ne you do need a HDMI connection in your car and a power um, adapter or one of these uh, so you can uh, uh, connect and power the Chromecast uh, I am using 18 watt I would recommend anything 9 watt or over uh, to get make this happen uh, so let's power it on I have it in my main dashboard uh, screen right now and then in a few minutes uh, we can go back into the second row so you can get a better clarity of the screen and here you can see the Chromecast is logging in. Uh, it's not connected to the internet, but it still uh, goes to the main screen, and then you can do the settings from there. There's no Wi-Fi connection. Again, I'm excited for this one because any of the long road trips you're going on to, it would be very useful for the kids in the back. So you can just connect it to your hotspot from your phone. Uh, definitely recommend if being on an unlimited plan, then you don't eat up all your data, but uh, you can um, you can basically use it as your home uh, with the two screens in the back. And obviously you cannot watch it in the dashboard while you're driving, but the back screens and the volume does come out of the um, car. So here I'm in the back seat. Uh, those are my... 10 inch screens in the back uh, two of them and you can see that it's showing up the Chromecast uh, or Google TV home screen I'm just gonna go into the settings and go to Wi-Fi and then look for the Wi-Fi networks uh, make sure you have the hotspot on on your uh, phone and I already have it set up with a you uh, with the password so I would recommend doing that before you connect it and once you get the password you have to input it on the screen using the remote and here I have it and it should show up on here in a second and there it is connected to internet I think I lost the connection there, so I'm reconnecting it again. Okay, finally got through it. Again, it's uh, it's one of those things, if your network's not fast enough, uh, it might be very slow or bad quality, or might not even connect. Uh, uh, for most part, where I live, the network connection's good, especially on Verizon, so I don't really see an issue maybe in long trip somewhere out of nowhere you might be, have an issue with the network connectivity but here I, you can see uh, it's uh, it's connecting fairly quick um, in YouTube right now just ch checking it out uh, all the apps and you can still see that's connected powered on uh, to my HDMI and there you go it did it did take a few extra seconds but it did load in I'm not going to play anything just so uh, I'm not playing some other uh, content here uh, in my video. Uh, but yeah, you can see you can just go in here uh, and I'm going to show if we can uh, go to like a Disney Plus or something. That would be the most uh, important app while you're driving. Uh, and I do have HBO Max and a couple of other Amazon Prime, those things all logged in. But I'm just, just showing it uh, quickly so you know what exactly... Um, you can do uh, with the Chromecast. Um, you can even uh, play um, Game Pass if you have a subscription uh, and a couple of controllers. You can have uh, kids in the back and have them play games. Um, hopefully the connection <laughs> is good, but uh, that's again, uh, it's Game Pass is finicky uh, as you can see in my other videos, uh, how to connect Game Pass and uh, how to sideload Game Pass, I should say. Uh, but again, this is just Disney Plus here. Uh, in a second, we can just go to the Xbox app and then 
Uh, it's uh, as always so you have to go through all of your apps and then select the Xbox Game Pass one to get it loaded. So I'm really excited about this one because I can I can have the kids play the games in the back. Again, just two controllers will make two of them play. Uh, three, maybe three, if any, three player games. Or, uh, but uh, this is this is something exciting, uh, just because it can keep them entertained and long long boarding drives, uh, and keep them watch movies, YouTube, whatever it is, uh, without uh, having to worry about. Uh, a lot of things um, yeah wish it uh, I mean mine is an unlimited plan so data is not really a concern even though I know they will uh, curb it down uh, when you pass certain limit they'll try to uh, slow your speeds but for most part I think YouTube and uh, the other apps will work in low resolution it doesn't have to be in HD these screens are for HD because this car came with a Blu-ray drive a uh, Blu-ray drive so it, they are HD uh, but again, uh, that's my quick setup. Uh, you do need, uh, obviously, the first thing, a car with a HP, HDMI input, screens, um, and then uh, preferably an unlimited plan so you can have your uh, Wi-Fi hotspot on and connect it to the Chromecast. And if you don't, I mean, I do have a regular outlet in the, in the car, but I'm, I do want to use the uh, typical cigarette lighter charger uh, because that's uh, it's easier to connect and don't have to go through the outlet and carry another adapter so that's my quick setup uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe and hit the like button see you in the next one